Hey there, Jake here. So you found yourself with a blacklisted IMEI, also known as a bad ESN on your device. You might be scrolling through the internet, finding all sorts of services, software, or methods promising to fix this issue. But some of these solutions might not be as reliable, secure, or even as free as they claim to be. But don't fret, I've got you covered. Today I'll be showing you multiple much safer and guaranteed ways to remove a blacklisted IMEI from any iOS, Android devices, or any device that uses a SIM card. And guess what? They're quicker and entirely cost-free. So let's dive right in. Before we continue, it's critical to note this information is meant for responsible use only. This is for folks who genuinely own the device but might have forgotten their login details. We're certainly not advising anyone to misuse this for suspicious activities or to unlock stolen devices. Remember, we need to stay legal and respect others' rights. Rest assured, everything we're about to talk about aligns perfectly with YouTube's rules and community standards. Now, let's get back to the matter at hand. All right, let's talk a bit about some of the services out there that can help you deal with a blacklisted IMEI or bad ESN. Just a heads up, this isn't an ad, but an educational discussion on some of the best solutions we've found. First up, there's ESN Doctor. They've done a pretty solid job helping folks remove the blacklist status from their devices. It's a user-friendly solution worth exploring. Next, we've got Safe Unlocks. They've been in the game for a while and have a good track record in dealing with these kinds of issues. Last but not least, there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This one is particularly interesting. With the power of AI, it makes the entire process seem almost effortless. Remember, the goal isn't to pressure you into using one of these services, but to give you a handy overview of some of the best in the biz. In the next part of our guide, we're going to dive deeper into how you can use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, so stay tuned. This is a quick side note here. These unlocking services work best in first world countries. If you're having trouble accessing these services or feel hesitant about using them, we have another option for you. We offer 250 unlocks every week for our loyal viewers. Entering this weekly offer is super simple. First, hit that like button on this video. Then, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Lastly, drop a comment down below with your phone model, like Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. As soon as you've completed these steps, you'll be automatically entered into the draw for a free unlock. Keep it clear and concise, and you're all set. Let's jump into the step-by-step -step guide on how to navigate the Unlock Here website to remove an IMEI blacklist. Start by opening up your go-to browser, either on your phone or your computer. Enter unlockhere.com into the address bar to reach the official AI unlocking website. Once you land on the site, you'll meet Nifty, an AI tool created by the Unlock Here team. As you move further down the page, pause when you spot the option that says Fix IMEI Blacklist. Select it. Now comes the part where you engage more with the app. Begin by selecting your device's brand from the provided list. Don't fret, all major and medium-sized brands are compatible with the app. Once you've zeroed in on yours, hit the Next button. Next, you'll need to key in your device's IMEI or serial number. Not sure where to find it? There's a handy tutorial on the app that's there to help. But to make things much simpler, just go to your phone's dialer and tap in number sign asterisk 06 number sign. A pop-up will appear almost instantly, providing you with all the relevant information about your device, including the IMEI number. Moving on, you'll need to supply a point of contact. This means giving your name and your email address. It's a breeze from here, just remember to agree with the terms and conditions before you proceed. If you have any questions, the resources section is your friend. Once you've submitted your request, wait for an email with your unlocking details. It typically takes around 5 to 15 minutes to make its way to your inbox. If it's taking a bit longer, make sure to check your spam or promotion folders. To wrap up your order, copy the verification code from the email and click on confirm my order. Paste your code onto the designated page, quickly fill up the CAPTCHA, and then give Validate Info and Start Unlock a tap. And that's it, you're done. Nifty will take over and wrap up the unlocking process. Just pop in a compatible SIM card and restart your device. As demonstrated, the IMEI unlock method proves to be highly effective, not only for the Samsung S9, but also for a wide range of devices. You can go ahead and give it a try with confidence, and feel free to inspect your device to ensure everything is running smoothly. If anything trips you up along the way, don't hesitate to chat with live support. They're ready and waiting to help you out. 
All right, guys, let's go into some more alternative ways to take care of a carrier blacklist. It's all about the legal roots here, so rest assured, we've got your back. First things first, you could try reaching out directly to your carrier. This might sound basic, but you'd be surprised how often a simple conversation with customer support can yield results, especially if you've ended up on the blacklist by accident. Another route you could go down is contacting your device manufacturer. Brands like Samsung, Apple, and Google often have resources to help out in these situations. They may be able to provide a valid unlock solution, or at least guide you in the right direction. Finally, however you decide to go about removing your device from the carrier blacklist, make sure it's legal, ethical, and respectful of digital rights and norms. All this information is meant to guide you and not promote unlawful actions. And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.